Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to create this simple steel structure in SOLIDWORKS and we will learn some weldment tools. I hope you like it. So let's see how to make this simple beam structure in SOLIDWORKS. New exercise of weldment steel structure. Here we will create this two beam. Size is 120 by 60. The smaller beam is here you will see 80 by 40. There is two beam we are going to use. We will see how to fix the length or st uh, structure length is 40 millimeter long 500 millimeter width now here there is one tapered beam also there 150 150 then okay let's do this first now right click go to tabs and here choose weldments Front plane sketch. Now here we will make our main sketch. Again press L key in your tab and you will get. Okay. Now here we will create relation. Hold shift key. Select center point and line. Here assign relation midpoint. The same for this. Shift origin point midpoint. That's it. Now let's define this 400 millimeter and this one 500 millimeter and there is one crossbar also there. One fifty. One fifty. That's the thing. Exit. Now just go to weldments, if you click weldments you will enter in weldment is environment, first thing is structural member, ISO standard, here we will choose SB beam, we have only few sizes, so here we, we are going to use the bigger one 120 into 12 millimeter. Now let me choose first group, I will choose this one, see this location you will see, we will make parallel to this front plane, so here you can change angle, 90 degree, now see it is parallel to front plane, say yes, we will again use because we want to trim another beam. The next beam is 80 into 60. I will choose this one. This is also the same issue. It is parallel to rear plane. So we will make 90 degree. So it become parallel to this structure. Okay. Now here you will observe. See. It is crosses this beam. So we will use trim extend tool. Now, body is to be trimmed. This is the body going to trim. Now, here select body. Uh, which body? Select this one. See, this is going to trim from this one. So, here even face option also there, but we will see face in now rest all things same now you will see this is trimmed if you see there is two cut list one two now i'll choose this face sketch now here we will make add one plate supporting plate this is 200 by 55 millimeter Okay, then you will notice down here some holes, 8 millimeter, this hole actually 6 millimeter, this forget to mention here, 37, 30, 25, 25, 30, 37, this is the dimensions, 10 millimeter from this edge and this thickness is 6 millimeter for this plate, then 150 into 100, 150 by 150, there is one more beam, I will show you how, first we will create rectangle, center rectangle 200 
टैब 55 एंटर ओके सिंपली एग्जिट एंड एक्सट्रूड ब्लाइंड एंड कंडीशन 6 मिलीमीटर बिकॉज प्लेट थिकनेस इज 6 मिलीमीटर ओके बट हियर प्रॉब्लम इज बोथ दिस इज कट थ्रू आउट वेल्डमेंट्स ट्रिम और एक्सटेंड हियर आई एल चूज ट्रिम बॉडीज टू बी ट्रिम सो आई एल चूज दिस वन ना हियर आई एल सेलेक्ट फेस वी विल ट्रिम अप टू हेयर अप टू हेयर से यस नाउ इट्स परफेक्टली नाउ द सेम थिंग वी विल डू इट नेक्स्ट अपोजिट साइड even though you can mirror this plate extrude 6 mm say yes the same thing we will apply here trim extend now bodies to be trimmed this one faces up to this plate you will see the preview say yes that's fine now let's add this one be this beam beam now here we will add a smaller beam now i'll choose this one you will see the direction or position is not perfectly aligned so we will change again angle alignment angle 90 degree now it seems perfectly defined okay but here okay we forget to do some more things edit comes down and we will change the position because here select locate profile come down okay you uh, select this outer edge middle point now look how it is shifted now we want to use this portion only yes we want to keep this one and rest all trim now body is to trim i'll choose this one now faces and plane so i'll choose one two now here you will see keep discard keep discard this one upper one discard and this one keep keep this one say yes now look all the things are trimmed only this portion remaining hide now here we need to create holes now let me choose here line let's define this 10 mm now start from top 1 2 3 at the center 1 here 1 and here 1 dimension okay we will start from 8 mm 37 mm i hope you note down these dimensions 30 mm if you see this one 25 mm it is uh, something miss here okay let's move twenty five thirty
that's the dimensions what we like to keep i think this is not aligned with delete this point then again add one point here and let's define this one from here 25 Okay, let's move. Go to ho exit, hole, wizard, and here choose hole. Metric drill size, 6 millimeter up to surface. Okay, position, click this face. Now let's assign holes at this point. Now, here the things are up to surface, so select this surface, here this surface, so that it will cut hole up to this surface, say yes, now that is fine. Let us mirror this hole, click front plane, mirror and here choose this hole, in features to mirror, say yes. Now see the hole is mirror. Let's hide. I'll change the color for this too. Okay. And rest all I'll make steel material. Now let's mirror. Top plane, mirror. What feature? Uh, sorry, body. I'll choose this body. Say yes. See it's mirror. Again mirror. Right plane, bodies to mirror. One, two. See. Okay. Now let's add let me save this one, go to desktop, create a folder, a steel a structure, Now, here we want to add some holes, so we will add in assembly, make assembly, click here, go to library, here you will find and see, first we will add bowl, machine screw, I will add to here just drag to this hole and up to this face and leave you will see here 6 millimeter if you edit size length 25 millimeter and rest keep as it is no need to define any thread or something say ok but once you click like this it will ask you to place more so I will choose keep your cursor in hole and face. First move your cursor in hole then face. Say yes. Let us add nut then we will mirror all hexagon nut. This is the R nut. So I will drag here. See, say OK. This is cancel it. Met. Now let us define the gap. 
core centric map now five millimeter is the perfect things which is going to create with this okay it's not going to touch okay cancel Now let's add copy bitmap. What component you like to copy? I'll choose this one. Next, here select co-centric and distance. First, I'll choose co-centric, so I'll cho choose this one. Then for here distance allocated, you have to choose any face. So I'll choose this face. See, five milli, five point five distance allocated. Say yes. Then repeat for all the bold. This one, this one. Yes. bolt and the face yes and the last one that's fine cancel now let's mirror this i'll choose front plane of this component drop down linear component pattern mirror component now let me choose all even though you can directly choose from here also if i'll choose one hold shift key up to here now let's check in our see all the things are selected just click here next Oh, sorry. Here, forget to add plane. So it is front plane. Now choose next. Now you will see the preview. See, yes. Now this. Now again, we will apply the same thing here. Mirror component. First plane is parts. Right plane. Now here we need to choose all component. so if you just drag click one hold shift key this all okay one side is selected now hold shift key and this one also mirror component now let's check all bolts not selected just take next you will see the preview fine all the nut bolt selected fixed so this is the simple exercise in solid works where we learn some basic features of so solid works weldment i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching